today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Uh, what the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Hello everyone and before we start it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever. Hello, Beret Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of uh, the day, day 11 of Scandal. And girl, the things that the fans do when they are angry, let me tell you, like, girl, you know that... You know, I think as fans, we go from like the regular fan who just watched the show and like doesn't really give a shit about what is going on, right? It's like, oh, that's interesting to the crazy, crazy fan who is like sending death threats, you know, and it's like, I, I'm, I better don't see you like walking your dog, you know, or some bullshit like that, that goes really crazy, right? It's a big spectrum of people. And, uh, you know, in this era of, like, technology and and you have Instagram and Twitter and, like, Facebook and TikTok and everything, it kind of, like, there is a way that, no, there is thousands of ways for every single person to make their point get across, right? And, you know, you can troll some people hide behind, you know, like, no pictures or, like, fake accounts you know or some people hire bots to attack 14 year old boys like i don't know dj or or ej or lr you know i mean it's possible you know everything happens but also the reviews you know um since a scandal exploded 11 days ago the number one thing, the number one place where everyone went to like really get their anger towards Tom Sandoval was the reviews on Yelp and Google, you know. They went to Tom Tom and Shorts and Sandys and they destroyed the reviews, which is very bad for a business itself. You know, many people they don't really go to a restaurant until they either watch the reviews or not only with like seeing like how many stars the restaurant have they're like oh one stars i'm i'm just not gonna go there they don't even like read the reviews or anything so having thousands of people going to leave a review and the thing is like there is no way for yelp or google to really know if a review is fake or not you know it's not like oh if you only if you go to the restaurant then you can leave a review no absolutely everyone can leave any kind of reviews if they want to girl when i'm telling you that these people went crazy you know and the reviews go from like uh, from like cheater and horrible person to actually fake reviews saying that the place is disgusting that there were roaches that like uh, like there was a rat on my food you know there was like crazy things like that and okay we're gonna so let me read you. It says two of the LA restaurants connected to Tom Sandoval have been brutal, have seen brutal reviews in the wake of his scandal. It's gotten so bad that Yelp itself put the kibosh on the whole things. The negative comments target Tom Tom and Schwartz and Sandys, both co-owned by Tom Schwartz and Tom Sandoval, with all of the gnarly reviews coming after Tom's affair with Vanderpump Rules co-star Raquel Levis. 
went public. Do you mean Rachel? Okay. Girl, when I saw this. One review shared a pic of a Raquel-inspired cockroach. They claim they, fa they found while dining dragging Raquel's looks and Tom's band, which the reviewer says sounds like Freddy Krueger scratching on a chalkboard. And it says, <laughs> look at this review. Saw the same roach that others have mentioned in their comments. The SpongeBob square face roach was really trying hard and it was obvious. I kept hearing what I thought was Freddy Krueger scratching a shot at chalkboard only to find out it was the owner's cover band playing in the background. If you can skip this place, there's a new shop opening up called Something About Her. You will love it. The ambience is much nicer there. There aren't snakes and roaches being slimy and stank. Good luck next time, Tom. I hear Taco Bell is hiring. P.S. Greg's gonna be so mad. People are so like... Critics also talk about patronizing a different eatery, something about her, a.k.a. Ariana Sandwich Shop. Another um, review says, don't support pigs and cheaters. Tom Tom is for home records. Shut this place down. Can someone throw a can of paint on the Tom's kissing portrait, please? And thank you, Lisa. Please kick them to the curve. Another person says, Tom Sandoval sucks, legit trash human. Sorry, Lisa and Ken, but since a skinny view winner hit his comments, we need to unleash the fact that he is trash. Another comment says, terrible food, terrible owners, terrible management, cheaters. Watch out for the Bambi eye bitch. Another person says, this place is gross. The owners are disgusting. I hope it closed down. Sandoval deserves to live in a cave. Newsflash, Tom. Nobody likes you. You'll never be the number one guy in the group. Oh, and also, this place has rats. Another person says, awful, terrible, trash. Don't support this business and take your money elsewhere. Another person says, I am so proud of these guys and how awesome the place looks and how delicious the food and drinks are. Raquel is by far the better choice. Ooh, not someone defending Raquel. Girl. Uh, Yelp had to pull the plug on reviews for both restaurants telling users there's been an influx of, of reviews because of public attention. So the site hit the pause bottom while Stafford that determined, 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 or Latino moment, you know what I mean. If they are real, or the, if they are a real customer experience, as we report, Tom asked for everyone to leave Schwartz alone and to leave his restaurant alone, as he was only a small part of a much bigger thing. But that clearly didn't stop people from review bombing. Which honestly, I that's the only part that I do agree with Sandoval. Um, I have never agreed with this whole destroying the, the restaurants on reviews or anything because guys you have no idea how many people work in these restaurants okay and no matter how angry you are like the dishwasher is not his fault you know the server is not his fault the bartenders like the every every single person who works there is not their fault okay and it is not easy to, oh, just go out there and, and, and look for, for, you know, another job in another restaurant. It is not that easy. Especially if you don't live in LA, you don't know what you're talking about, okay? So, again, go after Tom Sandoval, you know, destroy, you know, his Instagram page if you want to, like, comment whatever you want in them on Raquel's, whatever. Do that, that thing you can do whatever you want. But honestly, messing with other people's living hoods, you know, especially when there is, for example, Tom Tom. Tom Sandoval only owns 5% of the restaurant, okay? So you are literally attacking Lisa. And Lisa had nothing to do with this. So, you know, that kind of thing, it's really dumb. And I, if, if, if you are doing something like this, just stop because you are not going to get anything from this. You want to get something from this? Go after Bravo, you know? Like, tag them on Twitter, you know, tell them to fire them, you know, go after that kind of things. But don't attack the livelihood of other people. 
but here we are all right guys so let me know what you guys think on the comments below and if you want to get all the tea related to vanderpump rules or any other bravo show make sure to subscribe 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 hit the notification bell and i'll see you around see ya bye